So more students are dropping out of college. Check this out. Page 11. Uh, more students are dropping out of college. Uh, let's see this here. Uh, here's why. CNBC story. One in four students at risk of not completing college. A significant portion of undergraduates, particularly those who are uh, first generation minority or low income students, are contemplating dropping out due to financial constraints and other challenges with roughly 26% seriously considering leaving college or facial, facing dismissal. Money is a main concern. Rising college costs and student loan debt are major factors driving students to consider reconsider their education. About half of those at risk of dropping out, citing difficulties meeting tuition, interesting, and related expenses such as textbooks and housing. And the last one is staying the course is crucial, seeking alternatives, Funding options such as scholarships and finding ways to manage expenses. Tom, thoughts on this? Well, first of all, CNBC hid the ball in part of the story. I dug into it. Here is, let's read there, dropping out of college due to financial constraints and other challenges. You know what some of those other challenges were? Mm. 40% of students are studying things that when they walk out of school, they yeah. can't use that thing <laughs> to go, I studied European art history. <laughs> really? So you know where the European, you know where the Renaissance art came from mm -hmm. that's hanging in the museum yeah okay what the hell does that do for you yeah 16th century you're, you're, french poetry you're, you're gonna win a game they played back in the 80s called trivial pursuit <laughs> look, at, look at this here by the way look at this yep, the average, average tuition and fees adjusted for inflation from wow. 1970 till today look at the baby blue one right that's private the non-profit non that's the private non-profit for your skyrocketed from 10 grand now to $40,000. And then the other side of it is they're getting gouged horribly on tuition to learn about this history. So there are some students here that are studying business or STEM that are, have legitimate family constraints and being able to pay for college. That's legitimate. But in the CNBC stories, PBD, they left out the 40% of students that say they are graduating with something, if they can finally pay for it, that they can't freaking use. And so I think that part of is, is embarrassing. You're going to tell the story, CNBC, tell the whole story. It's very fashionable to say, oh, it's it's the colleges run by liberals that are spiking up the tuition at the hands of the liberal board of trustees and then petitioning the government to forgive the student loans so they could charge an X crop. Yeah. And the look at the end of the day, college uh, is not about education. It's about ROI. I don't remember one class I took in college, maybe one, it was called listening, and I failed. So Obviously. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. But college is about an ROI. If you go to college and you don't get a return on your investment, what's the point? These days, Tom, you talk about this all the time, it's not about education, it's about indoctrination. But what's the ROI on your degree? Half of all graduates are working in a field or in a job or in a profession that is not what they majored in. Hmm. What's the freaking point? Again, I went to college. It, it was worth it for me, but most people it's not. And unless you're uh, in the STEM field, medical, law, there's a lot of times that just not worth it in the end. Dropout rates. How many people start, stop, finish, don't get degrees? Then you have interest rates. When I was in college, 2.5% was the interest rate that I had to pay Sally Maybach. Now it's 8%. Jeez. So the numbers just don't add up. And they say the college is four times more expensive. But what you learn is exactly the same, maybe even worse. Not worth it. If you can do an on-the-job training and, and learn from some, of course, aside from the STEM, but if you can work under somebody and shadow under somebody to learn from them all day long, go do it mm -hmm. uh, instead of uh, what they're doing right now. And even Tico the other day said something. He says, Dad, I think when I graduate high school, I don't know if I'm going to go to college right away. I'm going to take one year off to work at a job and a couple things I want to do and then see if I even need to go to college wow. and I'll consider going back. So it's yeah. going to be interesting to see what these guys do later on, Tom. And a closing point on this, um, I won't say the name of the company because Pat and I were at a, uh, it was a private discussion, but a major U.S., Fortune 500, definitely, right, Pat, mm -hmm. said that they are looking at what is the performance of the people that come into their their company from college? And they stacked rank the colleges, and they were finding things like the University of South Carolina, an engineer did as well as coming from Ivy League schools. And they even mentioned that they were deprioritizing recruiting from Harvard, and they prioritized recruiting from, and they named a couple state schools. You know the conversation I'm talking about, Pat, right? So you've even got companies that are looking at it right now and saying, wait a minute, three years in, what was the performance of this kid from Harvard? And what was the 
so the kid that went to NYU or the University of South Carolina, and they were finding direct correlations that, yes, you have a lot of smart kids that come out of schools, but they're looking at the performance once they start training them in their business, using them in their business, and they're finding, hey, there's another thing. Adam was just talking about ROI. These are companies looking at ROI saying, well, maybe you didn't have to spend $360,000 at Harvard. Maybe, you know, spending hundred grand at a state school and you could have secured the same job at the same wage. And at the end of the day, the company is like, I got the same out of that guy. There you go. Makes sense. There's different alternatives now 